Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and this is the first one we are also featuring in the latest update of the game with the new, uh, the new graphics. So this system is from the user Pigeon Master 3000 and its description says a very large system containing 140 attracting objects for potentially having life. So should be uh, should be pretty interesting. The system is called the Namies Manda system. Let's check it out. Right. Oh, that damn Discord overlay. Go away. Right. Oh, where am I? So let's go to workshop. Let it load up. Right. So let's have a look. Uh, where? What, what am I doing? Uh, there it is. Right. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. All right. There it is. Oh, that was a bit weird loading. Right. Here we go. Let's see what we have got in store. Oh my gosh. Right. There's a lot of objects in here. Right. Let's go all the way down to the centre here. Right. Oh man, there's a lot of things in here. Let's turn the goggles off. <laughs> right, there we go. So good. There's a good view of it all. Right, a large system having 140 objects, mostly stable to the most part, unexpectedly. Anyways, enjoy this. Um, okay. If it's got a dot at the end, it means it's a moon. Okay, right. So the star itself, as we can see here, very, very bright. So we'll put the goggles back on. So the center and the light giver of the system, its mass is two times the sun. Okie dokie. Right, next up. We are heading to Burmas over here. Oh, it's losing material. Looking pretty cool. Nice trail there. Oh, yeah. So I know these, this got tweaked in the update as well. How does that look with the... Oh, yeah. We look behind. How's it looking behind? Whoa! That looks pretty wild. Oh, yeah. In the blare of the star. <laughs> Man, that's really bright. So... Um, its mass is slowly being blown away by the star. Its gases could later be blown away, revealing its metal core. Excellent. Okay. Next up, we've got Leber, which is the next point out. Looks a little, uh, little nicer. I guess it's still probably quite bright. It is. There it is. God, I love the lighting in this, but it is really bright. So, there we go. A small, warm planet. It has really nothing special about it other than having insane volcanic activity. Oh, yeah. There's the ring particles. They're looking pretty... Pretty cool in this update as well. I've just landed on one. <laughs> there you go. I think they had a slight change as well. So, it's got uh, some moons as well. You can see. There we go. So, we've got a hot rock and then another object over here called Libet. Looking a little more friendly without being glowing hot. All right, next up, we're heading to Moru. 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 Can't say it. We've got this one. A large rocky planet. It has a blood red thick atmosphere resembling a hellish world. Underneath this atmosphere is a hot rocky surface. It has three moons, one of which is an asteroid. Okay. Nice. So we've got Akam over here, which is a moon. Although it looks pretty good, actually. A moon. It has a moderate atmosphere and has shallow water lakes on its surface. It's a very warm 46 degrees. The Vorsalistans have sent numerous probes to study the oceans and possibly find life. Nice. So we've got the other moon here as well. A moon, it has mainly barren with nothing special apart from that it is filled with iron and nickel. Nice. Then we've got Q over here. An unstable moon, it's always very unstable and could collide into Akam very soon. Okay. So there's those guys. Right, next up we're heading to uh, Vorst Stalest here, which is the green one. Nice, here we go. Looking good. Nice looking planet. A dwarf planet. It has blue rocks as well as a... Oh, no, I'm in the wrong one. Oh! A hatchful rocky planet. It is home to the Vorstalestian species. Its atmosphere is a green issue, mainly caused by chemicals in the outer atmosphere interfering with light waves. Okay. Looks good. So we've got some uh, probes around it. Oh, yes, yeah, so and now these are more reflective, aren't they, with the new uh, lighting. So they're, they're a lot more shiny than they used to be when the light is directed at them. Oh, they look at it. Look if I... Ah, nothing happens. Oh, that's still really bright. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, so we got second orbital. Then we've got Luma over here. A moon. Um, it is mainly just rock apart from large craters and piles of iron underneath the surface. Many small bases have been established on the surface by the uh, species. It has a satellite called uh, Geoa, which is there. 
Nice. Okay. So now we're heading to this one called uh, Kaelona. Whereabouts is that? There's one called Kielona. It's spelt different. There's not anything in here, is it? Uh, no, we've cleared those. There's a probe there as well. Can't seem to find the one called... Uh, is it just a typo? It's got to be that one, surely. Dwarf Planet it has blue rocks as well as a superclode asteroid moon. Ah, yeah, I think it's just spelt differently in the in the thing. Which could turn into a ring very soon. Its orbit goes into uh, Vola Celeste, which worries the uh, it could potentially collide of it. Uh, okay. Blue and yellow there. Okay. Right, next up we have got Largs over here. Oh, that's a lot of rings. A gigantic rocky planet. It has a large ring system as well as four moons. It's on the verge um, and becoming a gas giant. Okay. It's a pretty large object. And we've also got some more orbital things. Uh, where are we heading? Looking for... Uh, where is it? Poor Mars. Oh, there it is. An asteroid moon. Uh, we've got this one as well. Urinator. The moon orbiting, it has an average atmosphere as well as Martian-like surface. Uh, they've sent a probe here to study the planet's climate. Okay. Um, we've also got Imanon over there. Moon orbiting. I mean, that's literally it. <laughs> On Turv. Got this one over here. Has something or another moon around it. Okay. And lastly, the one called Mane is an asteroid moon. So, that's that one there. Alright. Got this one as well nearby. Dwarf planet was once a moon until it was ejected. Okay. Ejected moon. Has a moon of itself as well. Nice. Uh, next up, we've got Lune. Where is that? I'm guessing there's a lot of dwarf planets here with these guys. Look, yeah. That one's just an asteroid. Dwarf planet, it was once a moon until it was ejected as well. Oh, no, hang on. That's a large asteroid in the main asteroid belt. It's formed due to asteroids covered a long time ago. Interesting, it's the only asteroid with a ring system. Have a quick look at that. There it is. Oh, wow. There you go. So, one of many asteroids in this region. As we can see. So, we've got this one as well. A Enist. A large asteroid. It belongs to the main asteroid belt. It serves as a reddish hue to it. Currently unknown as to why. Then we got Mina, which is over here. Golden one. Golden asteroid. Oh. 54% gold. They plan to mine this asteroid to get its rich materials. So over 400 trillion USD. Oh. Has a little moon as well. Got to bring it all back though. That's a lot of material. Gold is quite heavy. Really heavy. Okay, so next up we got more, more Rossa here, which is the largest object within the main asteroid it has two moons and a ring system no atmosphere so this is probably a series equivalent here so there they are so we've got Suma so there's a lot of a lot of descriptions of these asteroids that's something we don't normally see famous asteroid however it has no resources and is useless and there's another one another famous asteroid which is that one okay right moving on to the next planets now got this one here Engua Got a huge system around it as well. Turn the goggles off. Oh yeah, it's getting pretty dark about the goggles. <laughs> now I've got to keep them on actually. See things lighter. Okay. Massive gas giant, twice as I Jupiter. It has a bunch of moons, most of which being asteroids. It also has a large ring system. Okay. So first up we've got this moon over here. An ocean moon. Its surface is covered entirely of water. It's one of the target moons for the uh, species to travel to, the Vorstalistians. There you go. We've got this moon here. Purplish and thick atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide moon. Okay. We've got fawn over here. Greenish and orange atmosphere. It also has a sulfur dioxide ocean. Nice. A few more Deacon asteroid. That one again. Uh, an icy moon. Oh man, there's actually loads, isn't there? It's a very small, only being 663 meters. 
lot of them in here. I can't even find that one. Ga gas oh. uh, can't. Oh, there it is. What's this Ulio one? A small gas giant orbiting. Yeah, it's a small uh, asteroid moon orbiting it. All right. So second gas giant. <laughs> That's still quite large as well. For the sake of sanity, I won't do any of the moon here. I mean, there's really no point. I mean, they're just asteroids. We don't need to. Because we'll just be kicking over them really quick anyway. Um, so, next up we've got Portas over here. A small green dwarf planet. It is rich in resources, mainly metals like nickel and other undiscovered elements. It has a small ring system. Then we've got this object here as well, a large moon orbiting. Okay. Then we've got Epo... Is it Epo... Tas over here? It's pretty dark. A planet with a thick purple atmosphere and a deep nitrogen ocean. It is very stormy as well due to other factors about it making it hard to land on. It's got a little probe as well. Nice. So now we are heading to over here. Ice giant. Five moons as well as a ring system resembling Jupiter's. There it is. So first of the moons we've got Yatta. Mainly barren moon, thick methane ocean. Oh, ice. In gas, a moon has strange green rocks due to sustain the amount of uranium on it. Ooh, very glowy at the top there. Uh, where are we? We've got Russ. Moon, most barren. Now I have no atmosphere, no resources. We've got Ufal over here. Extremely tiny asteroid. Got this one here as well. Extremely tiny asteroid moon, only being 154 meters. This one called Nitro, which is the blue one. Nitro, nice cover on its surface. Okay. Uh, looks like we're going into the dwarf territory next. We've got Freezus, which is here. It's very dark here. All right. Dwarf planet mainly made of ice. It used to be a moon of uh, name. Oh, there's another gas giant out here. Vanacid. There it is. Gas giant with four moons. We've got Anno, moon of a yellowish surface. Then we have a moon with a reddish surface, this one. We've got Britas over here. Small asteroid moon. And the last one, again, another another small moon. Okay. There's a few other moons uh, popped around as well. Okay. Then we've got Katadu over here. A dwarf planet with two unimportant asteroid moons. So, okay. Says it, says it for itself. Then we're heading to... On ye over here, this one. Ooh, the big glow, the cut through it. I'm not sure that's intended. Um, dwarf planet made of sixty-five percent ice. Okay, so it has a moon as well. Onyx here. Grayish wasteland scarred by an asteroid collision. However, it has a new material called onyx, like itself, on the surface. Next up, we've got In Maze over here, a reddish dwarf planet. Over there, has a ring system. It's very hard to see, but it is there. There you, go, you can see the shadow of it with the trails actually behind it. There he is. Nice. Two moons. Right, next up, Manda, ha a captured brown dwarf. What is this? There it is. Hey! Nice. Alright. Five main planets. So they all are. So we've got Manra, a burning hot rocky planet. It's tidally locked. And it's getting a high load of temperature from being near that. There you go. Uh, we've got Wata. There's that. There it is. Earth like world, eh? Nice. Aquatic world has life, has a small moon called Rara. Over there. Then we have Februm. It's a ring system as well. Was it technically an asteroid belt around a star? Uh, but yeah, there it is. Freezer planet with five times the mass of Earth. Another rings. A lot of rings in here. Uh, we got Cal Calio. Barren planet with no atmosphere or moons. And we've got Bonos. Boring planet. It's close to the moon. 
<laughs> and it just finishes off, I'm so tired, not all objects are here. But remember, we don't need to, um, just a reference for everyone. If the object has nothing interesting about it, you don't need to put a description for it. Like, just, if we just say, a no, bore an asteroid, it's just repeating the same thing, isn't it? So you don't, don't necessarily have to put those in, so you can forget about doing that if, uh, if it's too much work. Because it is the same thing, isn't it? Um, but yeah, there we are. So there's a few more orbital things around here. There's the bonos. So there we go. But there it is. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of generic looking worlds in here, isn't there? Not the most customised one in the world, I have to say. Uh, but there it is. There's a few more dwarf hands. There's a lot of just random asteroids and stuff, isn't there? Um, let's get a lineup of everyone. So there it is. Oh god, that's bright. <laughs> so there they all are. There. Oh, that gas giant being destroyed at the start. Look, all the rings. There's so many rings. Let's remove those. There we go. Get their lineup of everything. So, there you go. There's everything. Spam click through. Oh, yeah, and there's all the small little uh, little ones. There's a lot of them. Look, oh my god. They go all the way down to the bottom there. Look how small some of them are. Oh my god, that one's smaller than the probes. 55 meters. Look at that. Some of them are tiny. Oh my god, look at that one. Two meters across. What is this? Where do you come from? God and devil. What the heck is this? Where are these guys? What? Ah! I didn't even see those. What is this? What is that? Whoa! He's very hot. 2,000 degrees? The god one must be even hotter then. Oh my god. The random birdo flying to the edge of the... There he is. 11,000. Oh, he's... Oh, yes. The Lord and Saviour. At the edge of the system. <laughs> Bonus points for those. <laughs> there he is. Nice. But yeah, on that bombshell, everyone, with that all said and done, let us know what you thought of the system down below in the comments. Again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Pigeon Master. Ah, it's in the name, Pigeon Master, for sending this system in. Ah, there you go. So a special thank you to them for sending this in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video. And subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers as well. That would be absolutely amazing. Really appreciate your support as always, everybody. And that all said and done. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.